In the heart, there are two atria and two ventricles. Blood in the right atrium goes to the right ventricle, and blood in the left atrium goes to the left ventricle. To prevent the blood from flowing backwards, valves exist between the atria and ventricles. The right atrium and ventricle are located to the right and anterior to the left atrium and ventricle. Due to these complicated locations, medical students have a hard time studying. Now I will talk about the flow of blood. When blood goes into the lungs, lots of oxygen is contained in the blood. Blood that contains lots of oxygen passes through the pulmonary veins and goes into the left atrium and ventricle. The left ventricle's wall is the thickest since it pumps blood to the whole body. Look closely at the left ventricle. The artery coming out of the left ventricle is called the ascending aorta. The ascending aorta is about as thick as your thumb. The first branch of the ascending aorta is the coronary artery, which is dispersed throughout the heart. The coronary artery supplies the heart and sends the rest of the blood to the whole body. This looks a bit odious. Look at the ascending aorta. When the ascending aorta goes upwards, it becomes the aortic arch. The three parts of the aortic arch are the brachiocephalic trunk, common carotid artery, and subclavian artery. The brachiocephalic trunk is divided into the right common carotid artery and right subclavian artery. The common carotid artery disperse at the neck and head, and the subclavian artery becomes the axillary artery and is dispersed at the arm. To summarize, the three parts of the aortic arch are dispersed at the neck, head, and arms. I will now follow the common carotid artery. The common carotid artery is at the lateral side and is in the inside of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. If you press against the sternocleidomastoid muscle, you can feel the pulse of the common carotid artery. The main branch of the common carotid artery sends blood to the brain. If the common carotid artery is blocked, and if blood is not sent to the brain, a person will quickly die. The subclavian artery, which goes towards the arm, is under the clavicle, just like its name suggests. I will start from the aortic arch again. See that the aortic arch changes into the thoracic aorta as it goes downwards. The aortic arch has now become the thoracic aorta. The thoracic aorta is thinner than the ascending aorta, but is still quite thick 
since it is still part of the aorta. On the other hand, the axillary artery that goes towards the arm has become the brachial artery. The brachial artery is located in the inside of the biceps brachii and you can feel its pulse on yourself. The brachial artery divides into the ulnar artery and radial artery in the forearm. Now I will follow the thoracic aorta again. The thoracic aorta has changed into the abdominal aorta. In the human body, there are four parts of the aorta, including the ascending aorta, aortic arch, thoracic aorta, and abdominal aorta. The abdominal aorta sends blood to the liver, stomach, pancreas, spleen, and kidney in the abdominal section. Also, the abdominal aorta divides once it goes down and sends blood to the pelvis, groin, and legs. These divisions should meet up again and go to the heart, right? So they gather up at the inferior vena cava and go to the heart. I will go up again so you can see the inferior vena cava. For reference, blood sent to the neck, head, and arm gather up at the superior vena cava and goes down, and the superior vena cava goes into the right atrium as well. So blood from all veins eventually go into the right atrium. The blood in the right atrium goes into the right ventricle. So look at what happens to the right ventricle. You can see that the pulmonary trunk, which came from the right ventricle, is dividing and going into both lungs. To repeat, blood with low oxygen flows into the pulmonary trunk. It was difficult to see this flow of blood. On this sectioned image, you can also see the cutaneous veins of the arms. Cutaneous veins are the veins in the subcutaneous tissue. Arteries have high blood pressure, so it should not be damaged. This is why they are not in the subcutaneous tissue.